What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Holiday World in Dallas, Texas. Today, we are taking a look at another 2022 Montana. This is the 3855BR. So BR stands for bonus room, which really is set up to be almost like an office space. It can also be used as a bunk room area, but you'll see when we go inside this thing how Montana takes this extra room that you get with the loft overhead, and they really turn it into what would be a perfect designated office space or something of that sort. So we're gonna take a look at that. Real quick, I wanna say shout out to Joe Luther, who is our Montana rep for this district or this area of the country, giving me this Montana pullover that I'm wearing and hooking me up with some cool Montana gear. So thank you to him for that. But we're gonna get into this thing. Again, it's a 2022, so we're gonna look at some of the changes for Montana with the 2022 as well. So let's dive into it, let's go. So as we start looking around the outside, I'm gonna put the specs up on the screen here real quick so you can see exactly what we're looking at. But I did go look on the sticker inside the door and this unit is exactly 41 feet, 10 inches long, and it is 14,060 pounds. So 14,060 on the dry weight of this fifth wheel. So that's about the size you're looking at and you can see the rest of the specs on the screen there as well as the floor plan layout. Some things I wanna point out real quick that are obvious to the eye is you have your two awnings. So you'll have the awning on the slide out and the awning over your kind of outside entertainment area there. Plus, if I step back even further, you can see you have three ACs on this unit. So I'm trying to test this out currently and we're gonna find out, but Joe Luther from Montana, I was informed by him that you can run all three ACs on this unit simultaneously. So we're gonna put that to the test, see if that is a true claim. So I'm gonna see if I can get that figured out for you. But before the end of the video, this thing just got in, so I've just been playing around with it, trying to get things set up and whatnot. But you do have the three ACs on the top, plus it is a 2022 and every single 2022 Keystone product, whether it be a Montana or a Springdale or a Cougar, whatever it may be, they're all coming standard with at least a 200 watt solar panel. So you will have that on the roof as well. As we go along the side or the outside, we'll start with this pin box here up front. It is the Rotaflex pin box that it's gonna come with standard, rated to 19,000 pounds. So you will have that here. It will have this rubber gasket here that will absorb a lot of your chucking as you're driving down the road is this pin box will pivot back and forth. However, I do wanna mention a lot of people have been going with the Reese Goose Box towing setup. So I'll put a picture up here on the screen of what that looks like. This is what my family tows with. This is what the majority of people have been going with. So that would replace this pin box and could just hook onto a ball in the bed of your truck. So that is an option as well. 2022 Montana did do different designs with their exterior setup here for their decals and everything. This is not a full body paint unit. So this is just their standard decal package out of the factory. You can see they have a nice new logo on here. The text is different. They added more of a modern text font where everywhere where it says Montana. So I like that a lot. Really like the decal design. I think it is a great improvement from last year's model that had blue and some of the decal stickers and stuff like that. I've got an ambulance going by. Since we're so close to this road, this brings me also to this area that we're standing in. This is a huge aspect of Holiday World here, the dealership that I am a part of, that I work for, that I oftentimes forget to talk about on this channel. But this here that we're sitting in is our campground. We have eight different spots in this area here, and I'll kind of circle around so you can see what it looks like. Basically, it's fenced in here, but if you are a customer of ours and you buy your RV from us, and this is especially huge for people that come and buy RVs from us from out of state and come into Texas to get their RV, you can stay here in this area for free. We have free electrical and water hookups that you can use if you're a customer of ours. And you can actually basically try out your RV for a couple days. You can stay here for a night or two, get comfortable with your RV, make sure everything works properly, make sure everything is set up the way you need it to be. 
make sure you know how to do everything before you take it back home and we're right here to assist you with whatever you may need if you choose to stay with us for a night or two so we encourage all of our customers to do that if they would like and it's something that makes us pretty unique here one of the many reasons we have a 4.9 star rating with the number of reviews that we have on google because of something like this campground that not many people have or have thought about so something to consider also if you are looking at purchasing an rv and are considering checking us out here at holiday world but let's go through and look at all the outside storage you have on here this unit is not generator prep, so you'll have an open compartment here for all your storage. Plus you'll have your battery terminal next to it here. Inside this terminal as well, you'll have your battery disconnect. So you could kill everything that the battery is powering right there in one little turn. So you don't have to go through and turn off each individual light. However, having that 200 watt solar panel is also going to keep your battery trickle charged. So that will be a great thing to kind of monitor how you know your battery's health essentially if you look at the solar charge controller here it is going to give you indications on what your charge level is it'll link to an app as well if you scan this here it'll there's an app that you can get that will show you the charge level of your battery so you can really maintain your battery's health and you won't have to worry so much about killing your battery power to maintain that because the solar panel is going to be doing a lot of that work as well keeping that thing charged Here's your, all your water hookups. So you'll have everything in here that you need, whether it be fill in your fresh water tank, fill in your city water tank, having your external shower set up. It will come with about a 25 foot coil hose that will hook up to there. Plus you have another hookup for solar. So if you wanted to hook up more solar there, you can do that as well. And of course you have key TV, since you have multiple TVs on this unit. Key TV is essentially a plug and play system here where if you wanted to get satellite on your RV, it's gonna make it really easy to get different channels on your different TVs inside the RV without really any hassle. Like it says, it's a plug and play method. You have the wire here behind that blue tab running all the way up to the roof. So the wiring job, if you were to install a satellite on the roof, has already been done, which is one of the hardest parts of that job. So Montana and Keystone have thought of that and already have that in place there. You're gonna have a 12 gallon gas electric water heater. And then they went to a, like this, rack and pin style slide out box. And when we go inside, I wanna show you how fast this, these slide out boxes are. I mean, they go in and out extremely quick. So that's gonna be on your, um, that's the bonus room slide out there. And then this one here, this is gonna be your main living area slide. It is on this slide out system underneath here where you have the rack and pin there. And again, just super, super fast. I'll show you when we go inside. I'll give you a demonstration of how quickly those things slide in and out. But I was super surprised when I started pushing the slides out, just how fast they were. It's really impressed by that. Coming along the backside, you do have reverse lights on here. This is something I always like to point out, but you have brake lights and reverse lights, something that the majority of trailers actually do not have. And you have a towing hitch. So you can tow up to 3000 pounds with this hitch and it will be capable to tow. You can see up to 3,000 pounds there. So if you do want towing capabilities, you do have access to that. And that's pretty much it. Let me get up on the roof so I can show you that solar panel and then we'll go inside. I always hate getting up on the roof up here because it's so pretty and so white and brand new and I just don't want to mess it up. But unfortunately, I didn't clean the bottom of my shoes so I'm gonna have to deal with it. But you can see you have the three ACs up here. They're all the Coleman Mach Q series. So they're gonna be a much quieter AC than like a traditional AC system. And then you have your 200 watt solar panel here, plus, you know, all your other essential rooftop things like these little things here. A lot of people ask what these are. These are just little, what's the word? They're, they're places or vents. That's the word I was looking for, vents. They're vents for air to flow out of from the attic in this roof so that any hot air that rises up into this roof cavity that you have here, it's gonna have a place for that air to escape and get out of the RV. So that's what those are. And yeah, your three ACs plus a solar panel. But let's hop back down and go inside. All right, as we head inside, first thing I wanna talk about is we are a priority RV network dealer here at Holiday World of Dallas. Essentially what that is, is if you look at this map here on the screen, we have about 130 different RV dealerships across the United States that we are partnered with. They're not all Holiday World stores, but we are partnered with them as a part of this network. When you buy your RV from us, you automatically become a member in this network. It's a no cost service. And essentially what it is, 
is all 130 different dealerships that are a part of this network. If you are in the middle of a trip and you have something that goes wrong with your RV that's preventing you from being able to use it properly, something like AC going out, refrigerator stops working, have a major water leak, anything like that, we are going to get you or any of these dealerships are going to get you into the front of the line at their service departments and do everything in their power to get you taken care of and back on your trip as quickly as possible. So this is a huge service that we offer that is very, very important to a lot of our customers and basically keeps them and gives them the peace of mind that if they are on a trip, they are going to be able to follow through with their trip even if something detrimental does happen to happen, which of course we hope it doesn't, but just in case. I also realized I did not go over the outside kitchen portion of this. So my favorite part about this is they did give you a sink. I feel like that is the most practical thing that they could offer in an outside kitchen. So I'm glad to see that. And you have your true, uh, two burner cooktop here that's gonna slide in and out. So that will slide in and out there. You can see it's all metal solid surface countertops there. So real good quality, all solid slam latch doors. And you do have these new systems where it's like a pin that comes in place here. So basically as I pull that pin out, it's gonna let that break free. And then when I come and put it back up, that pin snaps in place. It's gonna hold that in place so it doesn't go anywhere when you want it to stay open. Also, something that a lot of people overlook on the Montana is you have this accessory rail here on your awning where you can basically, it's gonna come with two lights that attach into here. And as soon as you snap these lights into here, it automatically powers them on. So you have one here and you have one on that rail as well where you can hook lights up to and get additional outside lighting on your Montana. Also, forgot about the suspension system underneath here, but you do have the road armor suspension. So this is going to give you six inches of travel, so three inches up and three inches down on the suspension system here. And this is going to be one of the best suspension systems coming out of the factory. It's the only one that gives you six inches of travel total. Um, make sure I said that right. Three inches up, three inches down on the suspension travel system there. So gonna be the only one coming out of the factory with that six inches of total travel on the suspension system. But that is everything on the outside. Let's venture inside. You're gonna have your app that you can download here that tells you more about the solar flex that comes on this Montana. You're gonna have the screen defender on your screen door. So this is gonna protect from any pets or anything like that damaging the screen door. And you have the screen assist that makes it easier if your hands are full or whatever, you can use your elbow to bump this down and get your screen door to detach from your main door. Then coming inside, we're gonna take a quick look around and then we'll start going into different details in particular. So obviously Montana always does a fantastic job with their interior design. This is the bourbon color. So the bourbon is going to give you your gray um, countertops, or sorry, not countertops, your gray woodwork from your island to your cabinets and everything like that the framing around your slide outs everything is going to be gray in this bourbon scheme that we have here and then it's going to come with the dark colored sofas these do have lights underneath them as well that i forgot to turn on just to add to the ambiance of everything that montana has to offer and the aesthetic so that's a quick look around this living area and then into your office space here, like I was saying, this is really designed, it is a mid bunk model and you know, we'll compete with a lot of things that would be classified as a mid bunk, but it is more so designed to be an office than anything else. You can see it has a very definitive desk space that will give you a lot of room here. Plus you have room underneath the desk as well to set up what would be an office space. You also have TV hookups, so you could put a TV in here as well. And then plenty of storage all the way around. So, I really do consider this to be almost like an office style, you know, floor plan and something I show a lot of people that are looking for something that would have a designated office space. So while we're in here, I'll show you everything that is in this area so we can take a look at it, but I'll pull the bed out in just a second as well. So you can see how big that bed would be and how much space that would take up. As I'm opening up these drawers and cabinets and everything, I do want to mention that every drawer and cabinet in here is soft closed. So you can see that right there, it'll click and then it'll close on its own. Same with your cabinets here, they will be soft closed as well. So that's going to be everything throughout the entire unit. Now I mentioned the slide outs, so I want to show you how quickly these slide outs go in and out and then show you what it's like with the slide outs closed. All your controls are going to be right here. All right, so I push the slides in off camera and then I'll push them back out 
on camera so you can see how fastly they move or how quickly they move. I don't think fastly is even a word, <laughs> but basically I want to show you, you do have access to your refrigerator with the slide out pushed in. So you'll be able to open this door halfway up and you'll be able to open this door all the way up. So you can get into there, obviously you can get into your freezer down here as well, no problem. That'll just slide right out. So you can get into there. Really cool thing is you can get into this office space in here. So whatever you have in here, the slide out will be pushed in, but you'll be able to get into this area that you have here and you'll be able to get up into your loft space and your bathroom, no problem with your slide outs pushed in. So don't have to worry about any of that. And then let's push these slide outs out and show you how quickly these things move. So we'll do this one closest to me first. Hopefully I can remember which one that is. Oh, wrong one, this one here. So this is not sped up or anything like that. And you can see how quickly this thing moves. I mean, it takes less than 10 seconds for this thing to go out. It's pretty incredible. Goes in at the same speed as well. So really, really impressed by that. Um, I think this isn't like anything new for Montana necessarily, um, but I was just, amazed i don't know why i've never noticed how quickly these slide outs go in and out and it may be something that's new for the 2022s i just unfortunately didn't really have time with the 2021s to mess with the slide outs and whatnot see how quickly they went in and out so pretty impressed by that definitely wanted to mention that and let that be known now let me get the acs back on in here because it is definitely hot so i'm gonna get the acs back on you can see because you have the three acs in here you will have this AC unit here that is not ducted into the rest of the system. And then back here, this AC is on high right now. So it is not a whisper quiet AC system anymore. They went to these Coleman mock AC systems and you have this Merv 9 filter, which I don't know exactly what that means to be honest. All I know is this filter here is gonna filter out a whole lot more than just like things like pet hair and whatnot. This is actually gonna filter out like dust particles and really get down to like filtering out the little nitty gritty stuff in your air to give you a real clean filtered out air system in your Montana. So you will have that in both this AC and in the AC up in the bedroom as well. And then I also have all the lights turned off in here. So let's get those back on in here. So everything turned on. Now, as we go throughout here, some of the changes you have for 2022, they did go to a different design here and this isn't like a carpet material it's more like a woven type of material but you have a different design in here than you did in the 2021 model and then underneath here you do have your flooring that is wrapped and you have your astro foil layer of insulation underneath here as well so just two different aspects speaking to the quality of that plus this woven material is super super tight and flexible so it will maintain this shape but also you know help prevent from spills and stuff like that soaking all the way into your flooring if you did spill something there plus you have that wrapped as well so you really shouldn't have any issue with you know moisture liquids getting all the way down to that subflooring underneath there speaking of subflooring in this montana they use what is called dynaspan flooring for their flooring underneath your vinyl flooring here basically that dynaspan flooring what it is is it is a single piece marine grade flooring underneath there so there's no seams in it whatsoever you won't find any spots on this montana where you walk and feel a soft spot or feel you know, kind of like there's, and some I've stepped in, you can feel where there's a seam at, where the two pieces of the subflooring come together. Not the case in this Montana, it's all one single piece marine grade, so you could pour water on it, the water would never absorb into that flooring. Biggest thing about it is it comes with a 25 year warranty and Keystone has never had a warranty claim on that Dynaspan flooring. So something that is definitely worth mentioning in the Keystone Montana lineup or brand with how they construct this RV. And then as we look around, very hard not to just admire the aesthetics of everything you get. You get the LED lighting all through the crown molding. This goes all the way along into the hallway, all the way up to the bedroom. So really cool there. That is something I like to tell a lot of people that if you're just hanging out in your RV at night, it's really nice to just turn off all your other lights and just leave the LED lights on. It's more than enough light to see everything you're doing, but gives you a nice, easy light setting that is very comfortable and gives it a much different mood and feel in here than when you have all the other lights turned on. So definitely really nice looking. You have a three cushion sofa back here, which will pull out into a king size bed. So it will be a trifold sofa that will pull out here. Comes to about, looking at the island, comes to about like right here. 
king size bed pull out but what i like to point out with a three cushion sofa is you could also lay across there and it's about six feet in length so pretty comfortable to lay across on that sofa and then you'll have your dinette table which has these two chairs already out here you have this chair buddy system where this is going to come down onto these chairs so that they don't move during transport you can strap them in if you'd like like these are strapped in right now but just this alone is going to hold these chairs down and prevent them from moving around while you're in transport so that's just something that makes it a life a little bit easier and then this dinette table is going to have a leaf on it so you can drop this down make it bigger and you'll have two tables that are up in the closet or not two tables two chairs that are up in the closet that you can add to this table to give you seating for four so you will have that as well thomas Payne furniture so it'll be part of the thomas Payne collection gonna be really nice recliners with your heat and massage features plus you will have the usb plugs right here so you can plug in your phone I know some people have mentioned why do they put them on the inside of the armrest well this is rv furniture it's different from at home furniture and when you put furniture in these rvs most often they are going to be going up against some side wall it's some somewhere in the rv so they put these on the inside because if you put it on the outside you wouldn't have any way to plug in the usb port so that's why they put them on the inside there um, these are all going to be powered so your recliner feature and everything will be powered on these as well in your slide out, you also have a dimmer switch. So you can see as I move this switch up and down, you can dim or increase the brightness of the lights. So you will have that there as well. Every window is going to have a day and a nightshade. So pull down your day shade here and then your nightshade, you will have those across all your windows in this Montana. Let's see what else. Look at some of your storage. Storage all the way across here. This should be all open throughout here so really deep and we'll go all the way through so big storage compartment there it looks really nice has glass finishes on the doors here with a nice decorative design the handle color is different for this year as well so they went to a black instead of like a silver which i personally really like that change and then next to your sofas here you will have outlets and usb ports as well now coming into this area we have a couple different changes this year First of all, you have a JBL sound system, which we talked about outside, but you'll have your JBL speakers in here, JBL sound system. You have three different zones. So you'll see when we go into the bathroom, you even have a speaker in the bathroom. So you can dance around in the shower, sing in the shower, stuff like that. Really excited to see that. And then you also have behind the TV here, let's pull this out. You have a JBL subwoofer. So definitely going to be a much upgraded sound system from what they had in 2021 and you have all your storage back behind here as well so really excited to see that the subwoofer is really cool it's really awesome to see them take sound in an rv and really expand upon what it has been in the past get that closed up and show you the storage up above because it is a huge storage compartment up here definitely fit a small child up there or two even but have a big storage compartment up there. You see you have the same finishes across, across all your glass cabinet doors here, here and on your pantry. Open this up. Great size pantry. And it even goes all the way down to here. So you have shelves all the way down to the flooring. So lots and lots of pantry space. It has motion activated lights. So when you open that up, you won't have to turn any lights on or anything like that. It'll just pop on automatically and you'll have your ceiling fan light fixture here that looks really nice you have you know this different marble texture design there have the same thing over here as well so just really nice looking light fixtures in the montana coming into the kitchen another change for 2022 is they took away the wine rack and put in a spice rack up here so this is pretty interesting let's get this sheet out of the way there if we can oh okay there we go so this spice rack will pull down right here so just like that you can put all your spices up here looks really nice it's a pretty cool nice homey type of touch and something that they changed for this 2022 model now while we're here we can look at this as well you can see the msrp on this montana for us here in texas is coming out to 116 so if you do have any additional purchasing questions or anything in that regard 
want to know more information about this RV or any RV in particular, really looking for specific pricing, my contact information will be at the end of the video. You can contact me through email or through my phone number. Or if you want, you can even go to my links in the description to my Instagram or Facebook and send me messages there. But I can get you more specific purchasing information if you reach out to me in those spaces. You have storage right here next to the microwave. You're gonna have a pop-up USB and outlet charger next to your stove top here. A window here behind your stove top to let in more natural light on this side of the RV because this is the only window. Well, this one and your one back here are the only two windows on this side before you get to that additional bonus room. It is going to be a suburban stove and oven. So you have the three burner cooktop here and then it is a 22 inch oven. So it's bigger than what it was in years prior. Pretty much a residential size oven. I mean, it's, I think these are one of the ones that they say you could cook a turkey in. I don't know who would be cooking a turkey out camping, but you know. Um, big upgrade to Montana this year is the tire pressure monitoring system. So we'll come with this. This is something that you are going to be able to put on the dashboard of your truck or something like that. And every tire on this Montana has a tire pressure uh, monitoring system that will link to this. So you can monitor the tire pressure on your tires, which is hugely important because I'm sure everybody's heard stories of blowouts and stuff like that happening in RVs, which primarily is going to be a tire pressure issue and people not checking their tire pressure. So this here is going to significantly help with that. Make sure you always know what the pressure of your tires are. And then these were the lights here I was talking about that go with the rail system on the awning. So these will snap right into place and you can get additional lighting outside on your Montana. Finally, you're gonna have all your storage compartments throughout the uh, island of the kitchen here. And we'll look at these. These are gonna be pretty basic. You know, you're gonna have your different compartments here. I wonder, okay, that will just rub off. That's so strange. I wonder why it came like discolored like that. Huh, I think that'll rub off. It seems like it will. You can see it coming off on my fingers, but if it doesn't, we'll just get you a new one. No problem there. Like I said, soft close everything. You do have a little bit different trash can mechanism here. So real simple and easy to use to push that trash can in and out. And then you'll have your storage underneath the sink where you have your two sink covers that are the same material as the countertop. Magnet latches on all your cabinets and drawers. And you'll have your storage through there. They did do a little bit different design with the countertop color this year as well. Last year had kind of a sparkle in it. This year's does not. It has like these gray streaks throughout. So it looks really nice. I like the design change in that aspect as well. And so far, every change they've made for the 2022 Montana, I like it. I'm here for all of it. There are some brands that do changes that I don't like as much as others, but Montana, I feel like they really did a good job with all their changes. They also did some different light fixtures here, but I really don't have any complaints about any change that Montana has made so far. And I genuinely, honestly mean that. Coming into your bonus room, we already looked at this area quite a bit, but you do have the sliding doors. They have a magnet latch here, so they will connect to one another in that way. And then they do have these straps here to hold them open when you do want them to stay open. Plus you have storage up above this area that's going to be fairly deep for what it is. And same thing on this side as well. So you'll have more storage up there. Coming into here, let me pull this out into a bed so we can see exactly what it looks like with the bed set up. So there it is right there. It is going to be basically like a full size bed, a twin to a full size bed. Um, it's going to be the exact same material as the cushions in the main living area back here. So it will be very comfortable, easy to sleep on for sure. And then it'll be, like I said, about a, a size of a twin to a full size bed there. Not a twin, sorry. It's bigger than a twin. It's gonna be more like a full. So that is your bed that you have in this area and all your storage and you have outlets in here as well so outlets there and you also have an outlet here plus you have usb charging ports right here as well so lots of different stuff nice big window here that does have your day and night shades as well so you'll have some natural light in here and that is just about everything in this space let's go up into the bedroom and bathroom and look at that area so as we head up this way, another change they made is they put in different handles in here. This is a real slight, subtle change, but you have a different style grab handle here. I really like the way this grab handle looks. It has like an arch to it. Um, so it, I don't know, just feels natural to grab that and 
it's it's a really weird thing but when you come look at it in person it just fits it feels like it you know looks nice you also have a storage compartment in here with some um coat hooks so you can hang up coats in there and then we already looked in here but this is where you have your all your controls for everything inside there your central vac system is underneath your steps here and it does have your floor sweep there that will suck up any dust and debris into your central vac system so you can get rid of your dust pan that we all know does not work very well to begin with and you will have that central vac system with the floor sweep to pick up any dust and debris that you have pet hair all that kind of stuff coming into this loft area this is actually a really large size loft it's almost square shaped not quite it's still longer this way than it is this way but it is huge i mean even me being 6'2", you could easily fit two of me up here. And when it comes to kids, you could probably fit, you know, depending on the size of them, easily two and up to three, sometimes four kids in this space. You can see you have your AC vents right up above it too, so no problem staying cool. And you have storage compartments right back there. Plus you have US, or uh, sorry, um, charging ports here. And you know what, let me just climb up in there cause I really have a feeling there's USB ports in these storage cubbies back here but I gotta climb up here to get up here. It is not super tall, so I can't climb around on all fours. I definitely have to army crawl to get up here, being my size, but, oh, this is actually pretty deep. So no USB ports back here that I'm seeing, but they are deep storage compartments. And you can see me here. This is basically with my head at the wall. My feet would just hang out the edge there, so. It's probably about five and a half feet wide. And then lengthwise, oh Lord. Oh, let me move around here. Oh, okay. Lengthwise, I would say, let's get my feet all the way at the end. It's gonna be about six feet. My head slightly hits the wall here and I'm six two. So it's gonna be about six feet. I could lay up here diagonally, no problem. And yeah, it's a pretty, big size space kids will definitely have no problem being comfortable up here and finally we are going to make our way to one of my favorite changes which is the bathroom so really nice looking this is all white cabinets in here so this is what the cottage white scheme would look like if you went with cottage white where you would have these same cabinet colors in the um living area but you have this really nice looking bowl sink now the advantage to this compared to like a sink that sits in the countertop is it gives you more countertop space in general. So you're getting that. They also have a different faucet on here, which all your, you can see it's the faucet runs all the way across here. So it's gonna let a nice waterfall type of, you know, flow of water to come out of here. Looks really, really nice. Bigger size mirror than they had in the 2021s. And you also get a little bit more storage because you don't have the bowl of the sink coming into this space as well. Plus you have all of these that are really deep. All four of these will be the same size. Residential one piece shower with black appliances here. So this shower head will raise up and down. You can get it to whatever height best fits for you. Plus you have the skylight in here so you could easily be 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and still fit in this space. It's a residential one piece shower, fiberglass shower, just like you would have at home. And then you have storage compartments back along here as well, which these pretty cool worth mentioning. Look at this light up here. So I'm trying to see, okay, so yeah, you can see how it's kind of triggered, but it's built into the latch mechanism that coming on and off. So as soon as you open that door, that light flicks on, which is pretty cool. And as I was mentioning, you have a speaker in here. So if you're the type that likes to sing in the shower, they got you covered. You now have a speaker in the bathroom and it has its own designated zone, which is pretty dang cool. Did not expect that at all because I have not seen that before. So really cool to see that. And you have your fan up here that does have a rain sensor on it. So a nice big fan in your bathroom. Now let's get to the bedroom. Wrap this thing up. You're gonna have a king size bed. It does have a memory foam mattress in here as well. And one of the biggest changes, let me get back here and Turn these on just so we can get the full effect. Oh, we'll turn one of them on so you can see one on, one off. King size bed, they have a different um, headboard this year than they did last year. So you can see it kind of has two foam pieces here. 
and looks pretty good. I like the look of it. Looks really modern. They added the night stands here that are above the window. So pretty interesting. I like that they went with that because a lot of times when they put the night stands at bed level, people are concerned about hitting their head on it, which you won't have to worry about with these because they're up higher. Plus you have your outlets and USB port chargers next to them there. So you will be able to plug stuff in. Also, as I was just showing, they have their new night lights which each person will have their own individual light, but you have two different light settings. So this is with it off. You can turn just that ring light on if you want a real low level of light. And then if you want direct light, you can turn it on again and then you'll have direct light shining down onto you there. So both bedsides will have a light like that for you to access. And then swing around, you have your TV in here. It has its own designated built-in spot there. Obviously you have day and night shades in here as well, just as I was mentioning and everywhere else across the unit. All your drawers and cabinets in here. So you have six drawers in this area right here, all soft clothes again. Washer dryer hookups going to be in here, plus your two additional chairs. You can put a stackable washer and dryer in here. This would shelf would just come out if you wanted to do that. You do have a hanging rack in here for clothes if you don't put the washer dryer in there, or I guess even if you do, it'll still be there. But you have that space. Then you have the rest of your wardrobe storage where you have the clothing hanging rack that goes all the way across. Shelves down underneath here. And then every Montana comes with a laundry basket sort of compartment here. Every single model will have that in one place or another. Plus you have outlets in here as well. So if you need to plug things in, they thought of that too. You will have storage underneath the bed. Let's flip this up. So storage underneath here, there's your hose for your central vac system as well. That'll be stored down underneath there. And that's just about it. If you do want to put a Wi-Fi router in this unit, it'll hook up right here. All the wiring for the Wi-Fi router is underneath this cap. So this cap would just come off. The Wi-Fi router would plug into the wiring behind there and then just mount into the ceiling. So you'll have that. Then you have your two AC vents in here. So those will both be in here. They have the blade vents, um, which we talked quite a bit about with the Keystone products. Basically they're pushing air out in a 360 degree motion. So it's equally distributing the air across your RV. They found that these blade vents are cooling ACs down about 20% or cooling RVs down about 20% quicker than the traditional directional vents. So excited to see these, but what I'm really excited about is they went to the black color instead of the white. So the black I think looks a whole lot better and I really like that. I think it fits the rest of the aesthetic of this Montana and glad to see that they went to the black instead of the white. And that's pretty much everything for the bedroom. You have a sliding pocket door coming in here as well. So no doors to swing open and closed. And a huge window along this sidewall here. But that's pretty much it. I think I touched on just about every change they made in the 2022. I sure hope I did. Um, I also have a video on my channel of a Montana 3121 with all the changes to the 2022s as well. But that one didn't have some of the changes yet, like this Merv 9 filter that is up in here. So I didn't get to talk about that stuff. So excited to get another one in that has really all of the changes that are going into the 2022. Okay, and I did get to test. We have all three ACs running at the same time right now. So this is huge. This is a big game changer actually. And I really wanna emphasize this point because up until now, We've only been able to do this on things like the Raptor and the Fusion Toy Hauler where we could run all three ACs at the same time, but we can now do that on a Montana, which is phenomenal. I mean, that is so big for us here in Texas. Being able to get a 40 foot plus unit with all three ACs running at the same time is a game changer. So really, really excited to know that we are able to do that. I have all three running right now, and that is something it'll be capable of doing on a 50 amp service. That is awesome. I'm really excited about that. Wanted to make sure you knew about that. But if there's anything else that I missed, let me know down below in the comments and we can talk there. If you have any further questions about purchasing, my contact information will be at the end of the video. You can find links to my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, stuff like that down below. And then finally, if you come to a Holiday World store and you saw one of my videos on YouTube, when you get here, when you give us a call, just let them know that you saw my YouTube videos. It's just one small thing you can do to make sure I get recognition for the work that I put into these videos, and I'd really, really appreciate it. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see y'all at campus.